Well, congrats on your clean sheet, on your official return to always the first nice. team. Always nice, yeah, always nice. Um, no, I got told that I was going to go with the reserves and then all of a sudden Marco pulled up in training on Thursday. I was a bit sceptical, got called here. Had a bit of butterflies, I'd be lying if I said I was like lovely and con calm and controlled. But no, I rocked up here, got told that I was playing and yeah, the butterflies started to set in. Warm up went all right. And as soon as the warm up was finished, I felt like I was ready. But yeah, always nice to return home and... I love playing here, to be honest with you. So yeah, always nice. And it was the perfect clean sheet for you as well. Perfect, yeah. I made a few, few. Could felt like I could have been better. Maybe give myself eight out of ten if we're being big-headed a little bit. But got to be big-headed as a goalkeeper, aren't we? So, but no, it was like I said, it was really, really nice to be back. The only thing that would have helped would be the sun if we're shining. But there we go. Can't win them all. But there we go. Well, winning a clean sheet. What more do you want? Exactly. Clean sheet as a goalkeeper. There we go. Beautiful. Were you aware that we'd won the last two with clean sheets as well? That's what Tom said in the pre-match talk and when Tom said that I was sitting there preparing myself and then I hit, I didn't overhear it but I heard him say it and then all of a sudden the butterflies came back five minutes before kickoff. so <laughs> no, it was, it was alright so to know that there was no pressure really in the sense of go out there, do what you can do as a player for me and our Irish goalkeeper coach and even Kev said that as well so just be yourself and I'd like to think that's what I did so happy days. And not just you had the perfect performance, but the defence did oh, the job, oh, kept superb, you safe. Superb. I'd always said as well, even Kieran was saying to me pre-game, just take it as you would with the reserves, albeit it's a different 10 in front of me as such, but he just said play as you would, and it's always comfortable playing in front of the likes of Kieran and Dan because they know what they're doing, and there are plenty of encouragement as well as telling me when I've put a foot wrong. So, no, it's always, always helpful. Love them. Brilliant, and and obviously you'll play Monday for us as well. Hopefully, I think that's what Kev said, but yeah, take one game at a time, you're only as good as you last, so there we go. Very true, and it's a busy schedule as well, because we've got the first team on Monday, then the 23s on Tuesday. Indeed, yeah, very true. I'm not sure what the whole crack will be about that, but take one game at a time, and yeah, you're only as good as you last, like I say. So yeah, just keep taking every opportunity I can get with both hands, and hope for the best, really. Presuming that you should start Monday, mm -hmm. you looking forward to it? Oh, but am I? I won't sleep tonight or Sunday or probably Monday, yeah. But no, just got to take it as a, with a pinch of salt, albeit it's a step up from the reserves. But just got to, like everyone said to me today, just play as the way you can and don't think of it as a first team game, think of it as a game of football. So there we go. Cheers, Finn. No worries. Perfect winning clean sheet today. Yeah, that was pleasing. Obviously, clean sheets gives you opportunities to win games of football. We're always a threat going forward. We're always going to score goals. So um, it, it was pleasing today because we haven't done this that often as four wins on the spin. But um, what I mean by that is is we, we have in the past got ourselves in positions where if we win a certain game on a given day, it propels us up the league and, and, and in amongst it and where you want to be. And we tend to, to not do that. So today I, I sort of mentioned that at the start of the game to the lads. You've put yourselves in a good position. But it's only a good position if you win today and, and, and propel yourself up in. I think we're in and around the playoffs, which... Fifth, I think. Look, it's, it's still miles to go, but I'd rather be up there than, than 16th, which where we could have been if we'd have lost. So um, the lads, I sort of dangled the carrot and said that to them. And, and to be fair to them, they've, they've thrown that carrot right down my throat and, and, and produced a performance under difficult circumstances. It was quite a fiery game. And obviously there was yellow cards and red cards and there was mayhem at times, but... We stayed focused, we, 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 we stayed in the game, we stayed in the moment and we've delivered a, a really good performance and, and, and another really good three points. Um, would you say, despite being 10 men, it was a professional performance from us? Yeah, oh, look, I, I've got a group that are willing to run themselves into the ground. We've got players that, 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 that play with niggles and, and get on with it and cover so many blades of grass out there. They work so hard, so going down to 10 men was obviously always going to make it more difficult, but I, I had confidence and faith in, in the lads that they'd be able to carry it out with, with 10 men or 11. And Jacobs is now our top scorer with five goals this season with a well-deserved brace. Yeah, look, he's a great lad. The lads love him. Um, he's, been, he's been a brilliant addition to the squad. He's one hell of a player. He got a bit of stick early on from, from the lads um, for missing sitters. Um, but look, he's, he's scoring goals now. He's creative. He um, he gets us up the pitch. He's, he's 
so difficult to, to play against. He twists and turns, so I made up for him. Um, it's difficult when you when you miss chances, you can shy away from it. But he kept putting himself in them positions, and he's getting his rewards now. So I, I made up for him. And it was nice to see um, Finn back and a clean sheet to boot. Yeah, look, Finn, we, we've obviously had him in the academy, and it was a difficult one actually. When when obviously I, I let him go, he just he needed to play football. Um, and as a goalkeeper, it's really difficult because there's obviously only one shirt. Um, so he needed to go out and, and, and play regular men's football, which he did. Um, so the, the opportunity come up for Manti to bring him back to, to bolster the under-23s and give him that little bit of experience um, in goal, which is needed, um, which I was pleased with. Because obviously, like today's days like today, where, where Marco's not available, which doesn't happen too often, um, I can call Finn in. And, Everything he did today, he did really well. He, he didn't have to do lots and lots, but he, he made some good saves at times, and, and his distribution was good, and handling was good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a quite a nice position when Suffolk's number one is missing. I can call off it. Yeah, definitely. And at the minute, it really the last few games it has been the perfect performances from us. Three clean sheets. Scoring goals at the right times, the defence has looked solid, perfect. Yeah, so it's what, look, last season was frustrating um, for everybody, but in reflection, it was it was a good season. We, we've obviously won the Premier Cup, quarterfinals of the trophy. Yes, we would have loved to have finished high, and I've, I've said it this season, I, I want the league to be a priority where we can be in and amongst it and see where we go in, in the cup competition. Obviously, FA cup is still looking quite healthy we've got a nice draw um, at home which everyone's after but it's one of them when things are tough and frustrating like last year we stuck to our principles we stuck to what I believe in and me and Tom didn't change how we approach things we, we believed in the process um, of what we were doing and what we were trying to achieve in terms of the way we was playing the levels we were training at the introduction of young players nothing's changed we look we added good players um, and I know there was a, a delay in, in announcing them um, but I don't think we need to sing from the rooftops I let the players show who we signed which Jacob's doing Ross Crane all of them are doing J uh, Jamie um, Harry Knights is obviously coming back into it now as well so I'll, I'll let them do the talking Christian's been magnificent for us um, so we've added good players and, we, and we've carried on doing what we believed in and, and now we're seeing a bit of a reward for that um, the two goals today they were well taken in the end yeah he, he gets in them areas um, Tom again my assistant I'm going to give him praise because he's unbelievable he, um, he, he's so astute and, and knows his stuff and, and leaves no ter um, stone unturned he said you score goals from set pieces in and around the goalie and, and that's what we did the first one Jacob was in there to, to tow it over the line from the yard um, and, the, and the second goal he showed a good turn of pace good ball from Patch um, and it was a, it was a cool finish. He's obviously on top of his game. He's confident, so we're back him in in them positions. So, yeah, two good goals, and, and and like you said at the very start of the interview, clean sheet. That's what our defenders want to get. Um, the back four were immense today, putting their bodies on the line, heading it, clearing it, kicking it, and obviously with with um, the added bonus of having Finn behind him to to do what he had to do. It, it was a, a pleasing day all round. Update on injuries. Ingers. Um, he's obviously still continu continuing to train. Um, done the warm-up today. We'll be looking to uh, include him in the 23s game on the 27th. Um, Harry Knight is potentially in that game as well f for maybe 30, 45 minutes. Um, who does that leave us with? I think it's Byron, which again is positive. It's great to see him today, Byron. Um, he's one hell of a player um, and I can't wait to have him back. And He's had second operation which has, has gone as well as it could be still probably a long process for him to, to get out of the grass but he's got the backing of everyone here um, he's going to have, have the backing of obviously our physio department Jenks and, and Bex so he'll be back and then we'll be all guns blazing Is it too early to say that Harry and Luke might be involved Monday? Yeah they won't be involved Monday they're playing the game Tuesday, Tuesday against Sudbury um, and then hopefully um, potentially be involved with us on on the Saturday against Brighton City in the FA Cup. Moving on to Monday, Kings Langley away. How do you see that? Another tough one, but we're going going there with confidence. Um, 
I said to lads downstairs, it's important that we, we cover well now. Um, obviously two days, 10 men today, we've worked extremely hard, so um, the lads look after themselves, potentially might have to make a few changes um, to freshen it up, but we go there in good spirit, and we're in full, um, we're confident, um, and we're, we're going there to try and get three points. And finally, you mentioned the FA Cup draw against old friends, and especially for Tom, oh. Brighton Sea region at home. Decent draw. Yeah, and, and look, they'll probably say it's quite a good draw for them as well, quite local, same level. Um, obviously, the advantage will be with us because we're at home. So um, the emphasis will be on us to win, win the game, but it'll be a tough game. We've watched them. Tom knows quite a bit about them, so they won't roll over. They work extremely hard. Um, they cause problems. So we'll have to be at our best. Um, and if we are, then we've got a chance. Cheers, Kev.